Okay, so as most of you are well aware, we are still in lockdown here in Melbourne and it is a Saturday night right now, so better crack open a bevy and do some editing. That's so good. Anyways, so tonight we're gonna to be doing some editing of some old photos that I took in Europe back in 2019. It's been a long, long time since I've even looked at these photos. It's bringing back some good memories, uh, some good nostalgia. So I'm really excited to get stuck into these edits. Uh, today, we're gonna to be editing two photos, one from Greece and one from Montenegro, two places that are really, really cool. You should definitely check them out after all this COVID stuff and hopefully you can get there in 2022. Um, I definitely really recommend Montenegro as well because it is a cool place. In the background as well, I've got some cool footage from Croatia, just from YouTube, just to keep that European theme going for tonight. But as always, we love to edit to a tune. So first things first, let's choose our song. All right, this is a good one. Let's get stuck into it. Okay, so first things first, for this image, we're going to crop it and just rotate it just for a bit because it clearly it is very off-centered. Just uh, get a nice rotation going, make it a four by five for Instagram, get that ready sorted. And that is looking pretty good. So we're gonna come over down to the highlights. And first things we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the highlights all the way. Now this is because we wanna get some of the background in the shot as well. Some of those clouds, bring down the highlights a little bit. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is just adjust the shadows and also maybe bring down the whites as well just like that. Um, we're gonna leave the blacks how it is. Actually, maybe just dip them down just a tad. That's probably affecting my shirt. Um, come down to the vibrance and saturation tool. And the reason why I like to do this, I always like to put my vibrance to the right and my saturation to the left. I don't know why, I always think it gives like a really good desaturated feel, but also maintains that pop in the color. So that's what we're gonna do. Coming over to the curves, we're gonna do a standard S curve. Um, I do these in almost all my images. Basically, it's just dropping the bottom half of the curve and then giving it a little towel to make that nice fade and then coming up and doing the exact same with the top, just bringing it up a little bit. And actually, we're gonna just fade that second half there. There we go, perfect. Maybe even fade that even more to be honest and the bottom as well, just to get that really nice fade. Come over to the blue tab and same thing as before, make those three dots. But for this time, we're actually gonna adjust the top right hand corner just a little bit. Just makes the image a little bit more bluer. I know it's looking pretty blue right now, but it will work out when we get to the end. Coming over to the greens, we're not gonna to adjust too much on the greens. Same thing as the blues. We're just gonna to go to the top right corner and just drag it up just a tad, getting rid of those purples. And coming into the HSL color panel, this is probably gonna where you have your most fun. For this image, because it is a pretty, you know, desaturated image already, there's not really many colors going on. So we're not really having to play with colors like orange and red. Um, that's probably only gonna affect the skin tone. So we might just bump up the luminance there um, and then increase the saturation as well. For the yellows, um, to be honest, sometimes I just kind of drag these things around to see if there actually is any color in that image. There really is no yellows in this image, so we're not gonna have to worry too much about those. We're also gonna just take out the saturation for the greens. Coming over to the aqua, I always like to shift my aqua over to the right just a tad, um, and then come into the blues and shift my blues to the left a little bit, making that aqua feel. That's probably where you're gonna get the most natural aqua look. Otherwise, the image is gonna look really teal and orange and it's just gonna look pretty amateurish. So we wanna make this image really clean and have that nice Mediterranean feel with the nice fades and desaturated image and desaturated color. So coming to the purples, we wanna eliminate all the purples in this photo and just drag it all the way to the left. Um, as you can see the difference here, a lot of that mountain range is really popping, but to be honest, for this image, I want it to be nice and flat um, and really sticking to that Mediterranean theme. So we're not gonna really adjust too much of the saturation on that, maybe push the luminance a little bit to the right as well. And we're not really gonna worry too much about the magentas. 
Now coming over to the uh, mid-tones, shadows and highlights, I'm probably just gonna make the shadows a little bit blue as well, just sticking with the theme of this image and making the whole image quite blue and moody and maybe just shift it up a tad, um, which is looking pretty nice. So, so far we've got our before and our after. So it's looking pretty good, pretty moody, which is what we want. We want something that's gonna be nicely faded and you know, quite basic that would look good on a print or so on. Um, for the shadows, we're just gonna, sorry, for the highlights, we're just gonna push that to the right, just make that a little bit warmer. And coming down to the sharpening, we're gonna sharpen it up just a tad because I always like to sharpen my images in post. Doesn't really hurt. Um, and then we might add a bit of grain actually for this image just because we are playing with that Mediterranean feel. So adjusting the grain um, and that is looking pretty good. You can tell if we zoom in that it's quite grainy, which is looking pretty good to be honest. I want it to keep it quite nostalgic and give it a bit more of a vintage vibe. Um, and then lastly, coming over to the color calibrations, and what we're gonna do is drag our red primary just a tad to the right, making that image a little bit bluer. And same with our green primary, same thing, just a tad to the right. And with our blue primary, we're just gonna drag that to the left, giving it a bit more of a teal feel. We might even drop the saturation down just a tad. So that is our before, that is our after, looking pretty clean. I might do a few touch-ups as well. I might come back all the way to the top and actually bring up those whites. Um, that might look even better. Just bring out that building as well because we want that to pop. Um, and then, it's really not too much of this image though else we can do. Yeah, so to be honest, I'm quite liking that at the moment. The only thing is maybe I am a little bit faded with my bag. So I am a little bit faded with my bag if you zoom in here. Uh, first of all, it's not really a good looking bag anyways. It looks like a school bag, so um, I don't mind that, you know, kind of just having that nice natural fade. But what we can do to affix that is just drag this tail down just a tad and deepening those blacks. And then, yeah, here we go. We get our before and our after. So yeah, looking pretty moody, pretty Mediterranean. Um, and I think it's nice and vintage, which is sort of the sort of vibe we're going for today. So let's move on to our second image. <sighs> Quick break. <sighs> so good. Okay, so coming over to our next image, we've got this image from Montenegro. As I said at the beginning, Montenegro is one of the coolest places that I've ever been to. A lot of old buildings and you've got these really awesome like mountains that go right into the river. Um, this city is called Kator, I uh, highly recommend it. Anyways, for this shot, we got it on our second day in Montenegro. We did this little hike up to the top where uh, you could have this view of the church and the lake and we got there just in time for sunset as the sun was dipping behind those mountains, which is pretty good because you get that light coming through, but you also get the mountain range in the background. And I've got Ellie in the foreground, just leaning on the staircase, which is looking pretty good. And yeah, so the first thing that we're gonna do for this image is actually we're gonna warm it up quite a bit because it is a bit of a bluish shot. So we're gonna make that quite orangey to begin with. Um, I know that doesn't look great to start off with, but eventually we get to the tones and make it a lot more vintagey and Mediterranean. Have that nice, clean, desaturated, vintage feel for that Mediterranean vibe we're going for. So coming into the contrast, we're just gonna dip that down a little bit because we're gonna bring that back up in the curves. Uh, for the highlights, we're gonna bring that all the way down. As you can clearly see, we have that mountain range in the background looking really nice. That is why we're gonna bring the shadows all the way down. Um, I should say the highlights. Uh, for our shadows, we're just gonna dip that just a tad. And then for our whites as well, we're gonna bring that down as well just so we can get a bit more of that background. And for our blacks, we don't really need to play around with that too much. Just like the image before, we're gonna bring up our vibrance and lower our saturation. As I said, I always like doing this in my images. I just think it has a really nice clean feel to it. And coming into the curve. So very similar to the last image, three dots as always, and bringing the bottom one down and then flicking up its tail just to get that nice natural fade. And as you can tell, that's bringing a lot of contrast back into the image. 
Now with this top right one, we're just gonna move it over to the right a little bit and then bring down that tail as well, just so we can get that nice fade for the whites. And then coming into the blues, same thing, three dots, and then just bringing it up just a tad, just to make it a little bit more blue. Because if you bring it down, it makes it uh, a little bit more yellow, which is not what we want. Um, we want it to be of an orangey, bluish feel and get kind of rid of those um, yellow and greens. Coming into this uh, green tab, we're just gonna do the same thing and just drag up our greens a little bit, which we can eliminate after in the HSL panel. And to be honest, we're not gonna really do too much with the red and teal, maybe just bring it up just a tiny bit. Okay, cool. Coming into the HSL panel, quick little break. Coming into the HSL panel, we're going to just touch up on the oranges a little bit, bring that over to the left, bring up the saturation, just so we get the nice buildings popping and Ellie's back as well. And then also bring up the luminance. And then with the yellows, we're just gonna shift that to the left a little bit. And we're gonna bring down most of the yellows. So that already bring de brings down a lot of the greens. Um, now what you'll notice in Lightroom is if you bring down a lot of the yellows, a lot of the greens will come with it as well. And to be honest, sometimes greens can look really good, especially for moody photos. But when you wanna to stick to like that Mediterranean desaturated feel, I definitely recommend muting your greens. That's gonna give you a really, really nice feel to it, to your image. And coming over to the greens, and we're just gonna shift it over to the left to make it a little bit more orangey. And same as before, we're also gonna bring down the saturation as well, really muting those out. And we can also bring up the luminance as well just to add to the overall punch. Um, coming into the aquas, we're not gonna play too much with the aquas, maybe just shift it to the right a little bit, and we might even desaturate them a little bit as well. And then for the blues, instead of this time going towards the aquas, we're just gonna shift it over a little bit towards the right and bring down our saturation as well, just a little bit, and maybe even our luminance, because that's gonna affect the sky. That is looking really nice. And for our purples as well, I always like to just completely eliminate the purples and make them blue. Even though there's not much in this image, I always think it really adds the, just that extra little blue feel to your image. Um, and then coming into the color grading panel, we're also gonna go to the shadows and just dip that down to get a nice bluey feel and bring that up a little bit. And then with the highlights as well, Gonna shift that over to the right. So if we bring it up, you'll see that is affecting most of the sky. And then if we bring it back in a little bit, just gives that nice orangey sunset feel to the image, just a tiny bit. That's looking pretty good. And our detail, we're just gonna sharpen the image up a little bit as well and come all the way down to our calibration. And same as before, as you can tell, the red primary, it makes it either green and purple or blue and yellow. We're gonna shift it a little bit more towards the blue and yellow side, just a tad, maybe like plus eight or plus 10. And with our greens as well, we're gonna shift that this time to the right as well, bring it up maybe to around plus 18 is looking pretty good. And maybe bring down the saturation just a little bit. And for our blues, we're just gonna shift it over to the left get that nice teal and orange feel. Um, already, that is looking really, really nice and everything is looking really desaturated and, and muted, which is sort of the vibe we're going for with this Mediterranean look. Um, as you can tell, that is our before. Really blue, obviously I didn't get the, uh, obviously I didn't get the temperature right on this image at all, so it is really off, so I had, did have to do a lot of work in post, but if you bring it back, after we've got a really nice desaturated moody image. Now the last things you can do for this image is just make it a four by five crop for Instagram and just shift that down as well. You've got those thirds coming down. You've got Ellie on the left and the church on the right which is making a really nice good rule of thirds. So click done. And then another thing we can do is get the graduated filter and just drag that across the bottom and deepen that a little bit, making it really nice and punchy, kind of draws your eye to the center of the image as well. And to be honest, that is looking really nice. That's our before, that's our after. So I actually really like this. And what we can do now is we can actually make these colors a preset. So what I usually do with my images, I usually edit one image, and then if I like the colors that I've created, rather than going in and doing the exact same 
and working out what I like in the other image, I will just make it a preset and then drag and drop for the other images. So what we can do is come over to our presets, create a preset. Uh, I might call this Montenegro, Montenegro, I don't even know how to spell Montenegro. Monten Montenegro. There we go. Yeah, I think half a beer down, my spelling isn't great. Uh, put into my presets there and then come over to this image, which is looking pretty cool. This could be a little three set, I reckon. Um, come into my uh, presets, which I think is under Jade Bevel and come into Montenegro, add that in, and then come into the next image as well, and just click Montenegro. Bang, simple as that. So our before and our after. I'm really liking these images. Uh, so yeah, I think that is basically the tutorial done. So look, I'm not a massive fan of doing these editing Lightroom tutorials. I really wanna give you more video tips in the future but with lockdown at the moment, it's really hard to get out and shoot. So I'm making the most of what we can do. And to be honest, looking back at some old photos was a really nice touch um, and gets me really inspired to go out and shoot post lockdown. So hope you guys are all well in lockdown and I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Make sure you click that like and subscribe button. As I said, much more videography based content coming up, more vlogs, more cinematics. As soon as we're out of lockdown, that side of my channel is definitely gonna increase and we're not gonna do any more kind of boring tutorials in the studio, so hopefully we can get out sooner rather than later. Anyways, guys, I hope you all have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. That was hard.